Your neighbors. Zabu's gonna love this. Yeah, this is going to be the greatest treasure hunt ever. But we don't have much time. Zabu's gonna be here soon. Oh yeah, and we have to get the treasure hunt all set up before he gets here. Hey, you can't watch. You have to help Zabu find the things that we're gonna hide. So hang out with Shark, the Veiled Chameleon, and count to five. We'll be right back. One, two, three. Hey, no peeking. <laughs> Keep your eye on him, Shark. One, two, three, four, five. OK, we're done. The treasure's buried, and the treasure hunt is all set up. Let's call Zabu. Zabu, Zabu! Zabu! Do we have a surprise for you? You know what surprises me? How Zabu can be so quiet when he leaps around. Listen. Pretty quiet, huh? Zabu, are you ready for a treasure hunt? You know Zabu. No sound until he's had his snack. Broccoli. Zabu loves broccoli. Hey, did you ever notice that Zabu wiggles his nose when he eats? Yeah, it's kind of like this. <laughs> Give me Zabu Mafu! <laughs> Hi, I'm Vuki. My belly is full of broccoli, and my mind is filled with a question. What's a treasure hunt? Well, there are clues hidden around Animal Junction. And when you find all the clues, you'll be able to figure out where the secret treasure is hidden. That's a treasure hunt. Manga Chica, treasures! Like a whole lot of garbanzo beans! Nothing but garbanzo beans! <laughs> Yeah, imagine Zabu as a pirate finding a treasure chest. <laughs> Dire me treasure! All the garbanzo beans in the world! <laughs> Martin! Martin! <laughs> huh? I'm ready for the treasure hunt. All right. Yeah, but I need some help. Oh, you look smart. Can you help me find the treasure? Thanks! Now we just have to wait for two more helpers. Who? Uh, I don't know. I saw them outside. Who could it be? Who could it be? Well, ah! This animal who I did see. Can you help me guess this mystery? Ooh, ah! She had a pointy nose and furry pointy ears, too. Is a really curious creature, always trying to figure things out. Can you help me guess this mystery? Two furry, curious, pointy nosed creatures. Do you know who they are? Let's see. Gray and furry, a little red on their face, white spot on their tail. Zooming all around, <laughs> red fox kids! What amazing creatures! Hey, the mystery animals are here! Wow, incredible. You might be saying, why is he called a red fox if he's gray? Well, red fox kids start out gray, and then they turn red as they grow older. You can see he's got a little bit of red around his eyes. And when he turns six months old, he'll be all red. Go, buddy. 
Ready, wrestle. You know, a fox is one of those amazing creatures you might see no matter where you live because there are so many different species of fox all around the world and they are so incredibly adaptable. They can live pretty much anywhere. In the country, in the rainforest, in cities, wherever people might be, you might find a fox. Ooh, but you have to be quick because they are fast, even when they're that young. Look at them go! I don't have to look. I can feel that tickles. <laughs> hey, Chris, this fox lives right outside. I saw his home. Great, we're neighbors. Yeah. You know, foxes live around human neighborhoods lots of the time. Oh. Whoop. You okay? He's okay. He's fine, yeah. <laughs> there he goes. And check out those moves. Quickness is everything to a red fox. Red fox have to be quick to survive. They have to be fast to catch their food, and they have to be fast to stay away from their enemies. These fox are quick. They're supercharged little canines. Foxes are great creatures to help with our treasure hunt. They're really smart, and sometimes they even hide their own treasures. You see, sometimes after a fox has caught her meal, she either goes somewhere else to eat it, or she finds a place to hide it. Her hiding place is called a cache. Later, when she's hungry again, she'll come back for her hidden food and dig it up. That's why foxes will be great helpers in our treasure hunt. My Betsika, that's smart. I'll call you Smart Fox, and uh, you'll be treasure hunter. Okay, brothers, we're ready to search for treasure. Woohoo! Let the treasure hunt begin. Look, they're sniffing everywhere. Yes, Ob, a fox has an incredible sense of smell, about 30 times better than a human's. Hey, they're onto something. I knew they could do it. This is great, because Treasure Hunter found the first clue. You see, a clue is on the back of these puzzle pieces. And when you find all the puzzle pieces, you can put them together to make a picture, and that will show you where the treasure is hidden. Okay, read the first clue. We are ready. <laughs> Here it is. Go up high, close to the sky, where you can throw a big orange ball. And a chimp got a little tangly, if you recall. Hmm, where you can throw a ball. Uh... <gasps> yeah, the basketball, that thing up in the crow's nest. Oh, there's Teeny. Oh, hey, Teeny, can you take care of this puzzle piece for me? I have to go to the crow's nest and find the first clue to the uh, treasure? Yeah, thanks, Teeny. Meet you at the crow's nest, Chris. I'm there. Whoa, hi. Manga, Tsika, you're great. You must be the hidden treasure, the hidden creature treasure. He's a silver-haired bat, Zabu. Oh. He's not the treasure we hid, but he definitely is a creature treasure. Wow, Manga, Tsika, a little silver-haired bat. I'm gonna call you Shadow. <laughs> He's been coming every day for the past few weeks, Zabu. I think he's trying out as a place to live. There he goes. Yeah. Silver-haired bats live in North America, and a silver-haired bat roosts in trees, either under the bark or in holes in trees. Now, you know, bats live in all sorts of places. A cave, a church belfry, an old tower, or even people's roofs. Sika, people are lucky to have bats living near them. That's right, Zob. A little bat like this can eat 300 mosquitoes in a single night. So if you don't like getting bitten by mosquitoes, a bat is a great neighbor to have. Bats are great creature neighbors. Wow. Look at them go. I can't believe my mind. Creature neighbors are creature treasures. <laughs> Mangatsika, smart fox, treasure hunter. Another piece of the puzzle. With another clue on the back. Hey. I'll read it to you, Zabu. This place is full of gear for adventure far and near. But when you go there, you better beware. I think I know where to go. Do you? To the closet. Yeah. Hey, Teeny, you want to hold on to this for us? <laughs> that a girl. Over right to the closet. Oh, let's fly. Oh. I'm gonna fly over to the closet, round bat style. Yeah. <laughs> you can only fly like a bat in Animal Junction. <laughs> Pretty good flyer for a lemur. <laughs> look out! Look out! <laughs> 
You need some help, Sabu? Oh, my God, buddy. Okay, one, two. Sabu, hang on a sec. What did you say? Oh, I said we did it. We found another clue. Lay the next clue on us. <laughs> All right, here it is. Go to the place that has things for your face. Lots of great eats. Hey, broccoli and beets. Then take one lemur leap to the right. Do you know where to go? Huh? The snack machine? Okay, let's go. <laughs> Here you go, Teeny. <laughs> Thanks, pal. The snack machine. There. So, I take one step to the right. Now, the next clue should be right here. I don't see a clue, but I hear something. Do you hear that? The smart fox and treasure hunter do. Oh. Well, let's see. Oh. Uh. Oh, look, we found some more creature treasures. <laughs> oh, and the puzzle piece. All right, Sabu. Yeah. These are coyote pups, and they're creature neighbors, too. Well, of course. Creature neighbors are creature treasures. They're uh -huh. only three weeks old, Zabu. Wow, they're tiny. Welcome to Animal Junction, creature neighbor. Yeah, and you should never get too close to coyotes or their pups. But anything goes in Animal Junction. Great job finding the puzzle piece, Zob. Hey, you want to throw it over to Teeny? All right. Here you go, Teeny. Hey, Martin. <laughs> oh, these coyotes are good players. They're crawling all over me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Look at his gray eyes. Huh. They'll probably change color as he grows, usually to brown. Little tiny coyote paws. Look at the little claws, it's amazing. But those little paws will get a lot bigger. He'll need them to pounce on his prey. So you know what the pups are doing now? They're playing to practice their hunting skills because when they get older, hunting is a big part of survival. What do they catch when they pounce? Rodents, birds, snakes, whatever's pounceable. Now that I found all the pieces of the puzzle, I need all the creature neighbors to help me find the treasure chest. Everybody meet over at Teeny's bed. <laughs> Come on, everybody. We're going to find the treasure. All right, Zom. Just put the puzzle pieces together, okay. and it'll show you where the treasure is. See, now, uh, where do you think this one goes? Uh, let's see. There. Oh, yeah, put that one over there. OK. Yeah. All right. What do you think, Teeny? Oh, OK. OK, we'll put, put it there, Teeny. We did it. This will be easy, easy, easy. Hey, let's see. Uh, I know, I know, the cave. The treasure's hidden over by the cave. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, smart fox. Come on, treasure hunter. We're going to the cave. Our treasure's waiting for us there. Well, here we are at the cave, but I don't see any treasure. Treasure hunter, smart fox, what do you oh, dig? That's it. The treasure's buried down here. Hurrah. Okay, dig, dig. Oh, Brothers, wow. we did it. We found the treasure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll just get it out for you, Sob. My first treasure ever. I can't wait. All right, now let's open it. Yeah. I can't believe my mind. Garbanzo beans. More garbanzo beans than I ever saw. Oh. There's more, Zabu. Oh, yeah, look. Look, balls. Balls for the foxes to play with. <laughs> there you go, foxes. Hey, and look at this. A bat box for Shadow to live in. He'll love this. And don't forget the coyotes. There's straw to make their den extra soft. Straw? Bat box? Balls, garbanzo beans, what a treasure. I love living with creatures. I love neighborhoods with lots of creatures. The more creatures, the better. Hey, look. Well, they really can climb, Zob. Yeah. Have you ever had a coyote pup climbing on your head? <laughs> I feel creature neighborish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel creature neighborish. How about you, creature neighborish? I feel creature neighborish. I'm a creature loving lemur. Creature neighbors are my pals. Neighborish. Feeling neighborish.
Irish reminds me of one time in Sabu Land. I was leaping along, leap, 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 <laughs> leap, leap, when I bumped into my neighbor, Narchi. Oof! Oh, hi, Narchi. Hi, Zog. Oh, hi, Nogginville. Hi, Zog. Where are you going? I'm uh, heading home, Zog. Move over. I'm heading home. Oh, hey, can I come over? Oh. I've never even seen your home. Uh, Let me do it. No, no, no can do. Oh, why not? Uh, be because. Why not? Because. But why huh? not? Why? Well, because my house is just too messy, okay? Uh, huh? So why doesn't Narchi clean it? Well, oh. my nose does have a vacuum feature. Yeah. Well, well, okay, but I'm telling you, there's a lot of dirt down there. I, I don't know. Give you it a try, Narchi. All right, stand aside. Coming through. All right. <clears throat> and now, now, careful with the fragile. <laughs> Great job, Narch. Well, uh, you can both come in. Yeah. Thank you. yeah here I go. Oh, oh, right. after you, Zob. Well, Here goes. Watch out. Yeah. Move. Oh. Yeah. Wow. This is a great <laughs> underground house. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Uh, come on. Let's uh, race around my tunnels. Uh, oh, good idea. Okay. Hey, wait for me. Ready, rotten leg. Watch your head on the. Uh, oh, hey, where's Zob? Hey, where'd you guys go? Uh, <laughs> and it's great to do certain things to help your creature neighbors when you can. Creature neighbors are super neighbors, as long as you give them their space. And sometimes that's the best treasure you can give a creature. And now that we've given Shadow a place to sleep, we can give him his space. Have fun in your new home, Shadow. Guys, sometime I want to show you all the creatures from my neighborhood in Madagascar. Duck. Yeah, a duck and... No, oh. incoming. Duck. Look. He's not a duck, he's Moonface the Barn Owl. Hey, do you know why they're called Barn Owls? Well, because they like to live in old barns sometimes. That's right. Why else would they be called Barn Owls? <laughs> hey, guys, hmm? a message from the Animal Helpers. Hmm. Hi, Crap Brothers. Hi, Zabu. Alexander's an animal helper that lives in the city, and you'll never guess who her neighbor is. It's Sticky Feet the Peregrine Falcon. Falcons live in the city sometimes. The tall buildings are like the cliffs they nest on in the wilderness. And here in the city, there are lots of pigeons for them to eat. So a city's a great place for a power green falcon to raise a family. Welcome to the neighborhood! You can find creatures and people living together all over the world. Hey, you guys should check out some more creature neighborhoods. Right on, Zabu. Yeah, why don't we check out the creature neighborhoods in India? Sounds like a trip to me. To the closet! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. <laughs> They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Bye, Bye brothers! See you later, Zav. We're here in the Ranpur, India, halfway around the world from where we grew up. Things are a little different around here, but no matter where you go, people are basically doing the same things, like doing their jobs or playing games. But no matter where you are, people have creature neighbors. It's just different creatures in different places. These kids have Langer monkeys <laughs> as neighbors. Langer monkeys, look at them. They're everywhere. <laughs> Hey, there's one with a baby. Langer monkeys live in India, like squirrels do in North America. They hang around people's neighborhoods, even on their houses. <laughs> Look at how tiny that baby is, Martin. Wow. I think she's only a few days old. Yeah, she can't be more than a week. Let's get closer. You can get close to Langer monkeys around here. They're used to people in this neighborhood. Born only a few days ago, this little monkey is growing fast. Her mom's grooming her. Langer monkeys groom each other to pick the ticks off and keep each other clean. What a great creature neighborhood. You know, maybe we should move in for a while. All right. Good spot up here. Backpack, Chris. My sleeping bag. We're all moved in. I can't wait to get to know our creature neighbors even better. But first, a little nap. Yeah, no beat. Yeah. Hey, get your feet off my side. This is my side. Come on. What are you talking about? My feet aren't over the line. <laughs> Come on. You hear that?
hear that? Yeah, I guess it's just the wind. Whoa! Whoa! It sure is windy out here. Wow. It's not the wind, it's an elephant! Hey, and it looks like she wants to show us something. She's leading us to... to where? A pond! Ha <laughs> ha, <All right. laughs> If you live in India and have a pond in your backyard, you have all sorts of amazing creatures coming down to drink. Or to eat. Barasinga, chowing down. Cheeto deer. Vultures. Crows. Sparrows. Tigers lapping up a drink. Wow. Hey, you think she could be hungry too? Let's see. She sure looks hungry. Time, Time to get, get back, back in the Jeep. Jeep. That was great. Yeah, living with Indian creatures is where it's at. And it sounds like Zabu's living it up. Zabu! Where are you, buddy? <laughs> Sorry, brothers. I had to trap you before you saw all the treasures. Special treasures from an island far, far away. <laughs> treasures? Uh, what kind of treasures? Oh, I can't tell you, but you can come out as soon as you can spell lemur. Okay. L-E-M-U-R. Lemur! Check it out. Mangatsika, they're my creature neighbors from Madagascar. You brought all your buddies here for a visit? Uh -huh. Well, let's meet Sabu's creature neighbors. <laughs> yeah! This is my friend, Hugon, the black and white rock lemur. One of your lemur neighbors, right? Hey, Martin, you found Hugon. Yeah. Do you know why I call him Hugon? I think I've got an idea, but tell me. Because he's always hugging on you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's he doing? He's grooming me. Yeah, he's cleaning your hair. I can help if you like that. Okay. Oh, wow, that feels so weird. It's like a little teeny tiny comb going through your hair. <laughs> He's got a real hug on Martin. Oh, yeah. Oh, see ya. <gasps> and there's Shark the Chameleon. And guess who's behind my back? Um... Little Leaper. It's Little Leaper. <laughs> so he's been leaping around on your back, Sabu? Yep. Leaping, leaping, leaping. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he's getting... Yeah, he's a good leaper. Remember what a good leaper he is? Whoa, there he goes. You just keep your eye on him. He'll show you. Hey, Little Leaper. Shark, guess who's here? This is a Tenrack. Well, he's from Madagascar, too. Yeah, they're found only in Madagascar. Hmm. And Tenrex are insectivores. Uh, that means he eats insects, right? Yeah. Well, I've seen him do it. Wow. And look at these sharp spines. If you mess with a Tenrex, you're bound to get poked by these spines. <laughs> That's why I call him Pokey. Hey, look, he found an insect right now. Oh, wow, I wonder if he's hungry. Yep, he's hungry. <laughs> Look at that. Look at him eat. Look at that little tongue. Yeah. Tenrex like to eat earthworms and all kinds of little insects. Looks like he's all finished, Sabu. Oh, how about a story from Sabu Land? I was leaping along. Leap, 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 leap. <laughs> leap, 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 leap. When I bumped into, oof. <laughs> well, I didn't know who I bumped into until she pulled her head out of the ground. It was Wiggy Waxwing, slurping up root noodles. Hi, Wiggy, I said. Hi, Sabu. Oh, huh? I can't talk. Oh, what was oh. your root noodles? Oh, 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 another one. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, more, more, more. Oh, Wiggy more. was wigging out all over, gobbling up root noodles. <laughs> Go, Wiggy. Until she found a root noodle that wasn't a root noodle at all. It was baby Zabumafuasaurus. Hi, Wiggy, wanna play? Wiggy was so full of root noodles that all she wanted to do was slide down baby Zabumafuasaurus over and over. <laughs> so we slid down baby Zabumafuasaurus all day. Here goes. <laughs> the end. <laughs> Living with creatures. I like all creature neighbors in the whole universe. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his spine and behind. All the friends that we met today are special in their own way. 
We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by, we're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine, they jump and swim, crawl, fly and climb. One more thing we have to say, go make an animal friend today. See you, Zabu! Keep on leaping, buddy. Hey, Chris, what do you say we go to Africa and we find out what creatures people live with there? Let's do it. Right. Hey, and remember, creature neighbors are great creature treasures! <laughs> Thanks, good pass. We'll see you next time. Hi, my name is Kayla. This is a goat named Tim.